So this is my Yamaha round gauge, 55.5 hours. The RPM is zero right now because so I put in the uh, key. I turn the key cl uh, clockwise to turn it on. And those are my junction command link uh, uh, box. I mean, uh, command link uh, hub. And this is um, the, the plug that I salvaged. And, uh, you know, um, so the... That's the command link plug with all the wires to the boards. There are only four pins um, for the command link going out. And there are four pins, um, four wires uh, going out of the command link plug um, to the NEMA 2000. And the red wire you can see there's the red wire, white wire, black wire, blue wire. Okay, so they, the four color wire go into the spread board and the bread board goes into the red wire, uh, blue wire, and the uh, black wire and the white wire into the NEMA 2000 cable here. And then I have a black bone, black bone uh, key terminal um, for the, NEMA 2000 and then I connect uh, the battery uh, for the T-bone for the NEMA 2000 T-bone and I collect the connect the battery to the engine and also this is these two clips are uh, clipped to the um, uh, Ray Marine Axiom you can see it's displaying the total engine hours of only 55.5 hours okay which is the same as my round gauge and then uh, speed over ground is 0.1 mile per hour and this center here is the RPM because I'm not starting the engine. That's why it's zero RPM. And you can see you can switch, you can um, move to navigation uh, here, and you can see this uh, in instead of the RPM, instead of the um, uh, this is the navigation, which is the the direction, I guess. Um, so I'm showing you this um, Ray Marine. Um, data here you can see you know and time is now 434 um, so what this is this is the dashboard of the uh, Ray Marine app you know so um, and then you can see these engine tab navigation tab uh, rolling roll tab fuel tab tanks tab I didn't I don't have a tanks connected it to this uh, NEMA 2000 that's why you don't see anything there you see the tank you're getting uh, zero percent um, customized page you know you can customize this but um, um, you know anyway so I'm getting I'm going back to this uh, home screen so you can see what I'm talking about this is the app that I tapped to get to this 55.5 um, uh, hours you know um, which is the the very nice thing. Um, let's see, tanks, speed over ground. There's the RPM. So this is the RPM page, and um, you know, 55.5 hours um, that you can display the Yamaha engine on the Ray Marine Axiom um, 3D fish finder. And um, I don't think you can um, do this for the Ray Marine element. I I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I can do this on, um, you know, the, maybe there's a dashboard uh, app on the Ray Marine, um, you know, on the Ray Marine uh, element, uh, fish finder as well. Um, what I don't understand is why this battery here is not showing, uh, why it's not showing the battery voltage um, for for this for the system right now um, you know but uh, so maybe the battery is not connected uh, or something let me switch to this see if I can add the battery voltage to start. yeah the battery voltage is not showing here and I'm not sure why, but uh, at least it's showing the total engine hours, 55.5 hours in RPM, 
I mean, I'm sure if I start the battery, I mean the, the outboard, the motor, uh, I'm going to be able to show the, uh, the, uh, the RPM um, on the fish finder. So there you have it. And, um, you know, basically I was able to salvage this black box and then uh, still be able to display the engine uh, data on the Raymarine Axiom just because I have the wrong gauge uh, from uh, Yamaha you know so it's really simple you know so if I um, don't want to have this connection here I can um, you know I can I can uh, what do you call that I can um, I can buy a cable that link the command link plug to the NEMA 2000 and that will be it that's the only cable you need if you have a round gauge uh, Yamaha round gauge there um, so that's their all there is. Okay, there you have it. That's the, the project that I promised to do. So basically, let me explain this again. The way I have this is the T-bone that connects to the one of them connects to the Raymarine um, Axiom cable, uh, Axiom na network uh, cable that loop to the back of the Axiom, and then the power cable is connected to the battery, and then um, and then um, this this middle one is the battery power okay to give the NEMA 2000 um, uh, what do you call that the NEMA 2000 uh, power but I don't think it's really working right now um, but anyway so this is the command this is the NEMA 2000 to to the command link to get the uh, engine data okay so there you have it um, and then you know this is plugged into the command link what I can show you is also this. So if you remove one of the command link cap, it's still going to work. You know, despite the fact that um, Yamaha told me that uh, I need two plugs, but really you don't. This red plug is to the remote control here for the, uh, for the boat. And this is the command link to the Yamaha 2000. This is to the Yamaha round gauge, this one here. This one here is to the Yamaha round gauge under the boat. So anyway, let me remove this uh, plug here. I believe it's still going to work. Just removed uh, one plug and let's come back to here. You can still see the 55.5 hours engine. But if I remove both of them, then I think it's not going to work. Okay, here we go. So I remove both plugs. And you can see it's still showing the 55.5 engine. 55.5 hours engine so it it sounds like you don't really need you know I, I, it sounds like you don't really need uh, you don't really need uh, what do you call that those two caps no you, you don't really need it and it's working right now 55.5 hours I was able to and you can see if I trim the motor the 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 till here is gonna sh is gonna in gonna sh is gonna um, show you the trim. See that? So I'm trimming my motor up, and the trim is showing is showing in this meter here in my uh, display. So you don't really need the two plugs because I just removed the both of them. Okay, there you have it. So um, you know, so I just trimmed my motor down let me turn it back up a little bit more yeah so um there you have it so you don't really need those two plugs you can see i just removed the both of them and uh my uh, round gauge is showing 55.5 hours so there you have it i'm gonna power it down but uh what i don't want to get is this battery voltage is not showing so i don't know why and uh Actually, you see, even if I don't connect the T-bone, provide the T-bone power, I can still use it. You can see, I can still use it. You know, I'm not connecting, I'm not providing the power to the T-bone. And I think, this is what I think. Um, let me go back to the page. Yeah, you can see that needle is moving. Um, what I think is the battery is not showing it's because it's not sensing 
from here. What, what I don't understand is, I think the engine also sends, I mean, the connected uh, engine, because the engine is connected to the to the to the motor to the battery. So the battery, so the battery connected to the engine. The engine sends the data to here, to to the command link. Command link sends the data to NEMA. NEMA sends it to the very marine axiom. Uh, multi-function display so it should show this um, battery I mean yeah battery voltage but it's not so I don't know whether or not it's because I'm not connecting it or what you know even if I connected it it's not showing either you know so I know this um, I know there is power to this uh, NEMA 2000 because um, you know let me check the fuse here